Hey everyone, welcome back to Between Two Worlds, and now here are my top tips to visiting Paris. Numéro 1. If you guys come to Paris, the number one top thing everyone wants to see is the Eiffel Tower. The problem with that is if you try to go there straight, you'll get disappointed and look up like this. What I recommend is if you want to see the Eiffel Tower, go take the train to the metro stop Trocadero. You come over here to the vantage point, and you can see all of what you want from up here. From here, you can also see Le Champ de Mars, which is kind of the central park of Paris. But yeah, so this is tip number one. So if you guys come to Paris, tip number two is you want to buy these keychains. These are the best souvenirs that you can get for friends and family back home. So you can get these for five for one euro. I've gotten them for less, but support these guys. They come all the way from, where are you from? Senegal. Senegal. Tip number three. Tip number three. One inside the Paris Metro is to just go over here to one of these info stands and pick up what's called Paris Poche. It's uh, your easy map to the city, and it's free. So, tip number three. Tip number four. Let's say you're in Paris for the weekend and you're wondering hmm, what is the best way to get to see everything with spending the least amount of money. What I recommend is getting what's called the billet jeune. You go up to the kiosk and you tell them that you're under 26 years old and that you like to buy one. It only costs four euros and it goes from zones one to three. It's only valid on weekends and holidays, but if you're under 26, that's an absolute steal. I, that's what I would recommend. Tip numero cinq. All right, maybe you're not under 26 like me. Look for what is called the Mobili Pass. You can buy it for zones one to three, to zones one to three, depending on where you're staying in Paris. And it only costs you 7.30 per thing. So that is tip number five. Tip number six. When in Paris, you gotta come to the Louvre. This is where the Mona Lisa is housed and is one of the world's most famous museums. So let's turn around for a second. So you gotta find what is called Le Carousel du Louvre. Go down these stairs with me. All right, so we come down the stairs. Now I'm just gonna keep walking forward straight this way. All right, so I'm under the pyramid, but not inside the museum. Two things. The main reason I talked about this is I forgot to mention it's because it cuts the line really quickly. And two, I just found out from the people at the stand that you actually, all you need to be is under 26. So even if you're not a student, it works. What you do is you just go through security, and once you're there, keep going. So as you can see, I am now in the museum, and I did this just to prove you guys that it is possible to do it free. Um, it's, it's incredible. Just take a look at the stuff. Uh, the thing is, I actually don't have that much time, so I literally came in here just for you guys. So I'm actually going to leave like right now to record the rest of this Tips to Visiting Paris video. Let's go. This is by no means extensive, but there are many free opportunities in Paris that you can read about. Check out the blog for more details. Tip numéro 7. Champs-Élysées, Paris, they go together like peas in the pod, especially if you have a girlfriend because that's where all the shopping is. Now there's one problem. You want to get there, so you try to be smart and get off at what's called Champs-Élysées Clémenceau. It's actually the wrong stop. It leaves you in the middle of the Louvre and the main part of Champs-Élysées which everyone goes to. So where I'm at right now is really lively because it's just before Christmas, so they have a Christmas market. And right behind me is La Concorde, which is where the Louvre is. But on the other side is where the Arc de Triomphe is. And so we're gonna head there right now. Let's go. Finally, aux Champs-Élysées, the most famous street in Paris, known for its amazing shopping, if you care for it. Anyways, for the stop that you need, it's that one over there, Georges 5, George number five. Don't go to Champs-Élysées Clémenceau because you'll find out that you have to end up walking all the way here. It takes a really long time. That was tip number seven. So now for tip number eight. This is a bit of a dark tip. And so unfortunately, here, unlike the States, there are pickpockets. Pickpocketing is a huge problem here. This is probably the worst place for tourists to go. because we're clueless, we're taking photos, we're trying to look at everything else except our wallets and our pockets. I'm not kidding, I've had many run-ins, including other people that I know, unfortunately. So I recommend constantly watching your stuff, constantly watching your back. That's tip number eight. All right, Phil, you've done enough talking for now. Now let's talk about the Lac du Triomphe. Where's the good place to get a photo? Just turn around over here. Get in the middle of the streets, and there you go. 
I've heard that you can actually go climb it. Is it worth it? Yes, it's over 200 steps, but it's totally worth the view because you can see Paris from a totally different bird's eye view perspective and see the amazing architecture, how they worked out and did all the urban planning. That is tip number nine. So for the last and final tip, tip number 10. One of my most favorite things in France and in the world in general is what's called the boulangerie, which in English is bakery. And the French have mastered the art of bread making, baking, and they have a plethora of pastries to choose from that I always do for my breakfast, whether it be a baguette, a croissant, or whatever the case may be. Let's go inside and have a look. So this is the boulangerie inside. You can see all the amazing pastries, croissants, donuts, everything. Ça fait combien? And that's the most important part, is the baguette. I forgot to mention, the best time to get a baguette is probably around 4 or 5 in the morning when it's really fresh and traditionally a lot of people, like kids uh, back in the day, used to carry it under their arms with newspapers because that's what they would wrap it in without plastic bags. And then, you know, you your normal baguettes. It's fluffy on the inside, I've already eaten a bit of some of it. So you just grab a little bit of this. I mean, that's what I do, not what the French do. It's amazing. Take a look at this. Just have it with some cheese, whatever you want, and you're good to go. Thank you everyone for watching my top 10 tips to Paris video. I know I didn't cover everything and there's so much more to Paris. If you have suggestions and would like to send me a message, you can hit me up with the contact form or just send me a message via YouTube. And maybe the next time I'm here, I can do a second video, who knows? If you haven't seen the blog post yet, I encourage you to check it out. It's in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for your support. Merci, à bientôt, et à plus. Ciao. So we had lunch and now... We have been able to organize quite a few games. Number one is Duck Duck Goose, catching on fast.